Everyone has heard of the show Family Guy. Hell, most of you watching this video have probably seen the show. It is one of the many family animated comedy sitcom shows out there. Although the show has kind of lost its charm that it once had and that the show isn't as great as it used to be, they are still making new episodes and still have a viewership that people tune into the show and watch and still love, which is kind of great, you know? Good for Family Guy. Good for Seth MacFarlane. I guess people can't get enough of epic, funny, Family Guy funny moments. Now, a while back, I made a video talking about a South Park ripoff show called Block 13. And I thought about it, and I was thinking, surely there must be ripoff shows of other cartoons. Family Guy, of all shows, came up in my head and made me wonder if there was a show out there that was a ripoff of Family Guy. And sure enough, there is. Um, the show that I'm, of course, going to be talking about in today's video is Family Gal. I haven't heard of this show before and I've only came across it when I watched a few other YouTubers videos about this Family Gal show. So with that, I decided to check out the official Family Gal YouTube channel that has all three of the episodes uploaded on it. Just to see what it was all about. Surely this show can't be that bad, right? Right? Now, the description of the show on the Family Gal YouTube channel reads, Family Gal is a humorous presentation of the adventures of Miranda Screwball, who hates men. Her lady friend and lover, Susan Geronimo, alias Soso, a dumbass sister, Maya, with two A's, lovesick brother, Moses, and one should not forget Miranda's kids and two terrors named, I'm gonna butcher this name, Lady. Lydie, Amin, and Kim. I'm sorry, I butchered that name, I apologize. Also, these names seem fake. Like, fake as in they were generated using either AI, like ChatGPT, or those sketchy character name generator websites that have like thousands of viruses and ads on them. It's weird, okay? So far, the plot and characters of this show seem pretty different from Family Guy, and stays mostly original. But the title of the show is a complete ripoff of Family Guy. Even the logo of the YouTube channel is literally just the Family Guy logo, but with gal instead of guy. Anyways, let's dive deeper into the show and talk about the three episodes. The first episode, um, ah, Jesus, this sucked. Okay, so the, th this first episode was so hard to follow. I had no clue as to what was going on throughout this episode, but I'll try to explain it the best I can. So the intro played with the worst intro music theme song I've heard out of any cartoon show ever. It was atrocious i hated it anyways the first episode called the birthday party is about the main character miranda screwball's kids birthday party i'm assuming it's the kids birthday party the first scene is just them at the beach the kids are playing and fighting while she's lying on the beach with stereotypical sexy music playing while the camera pans showing her body uh, this is a f cartoon what am i watching what is this some older gilf lady <laughs> walks up to her and talks to her. Miranda goes on a rant about cheating men. They fall in love? I think? I'm sorry, I can't- I can't tell what these f***ing voice acting and script of this episode! It's a f***ing mess. The script of the episode is a f***ing mess. I can't tell if they were already in love before, or if the older gilf chick was falling in love with Miranda. It's all over the place, I can't tell. Also, the f***ing laugh track that plays are and annoying none of the jokes in this episode are funny stop it with the big bang theories laugh tracks it's seinfeld laugh tracks enough of it it's stupid after the beach scene it cuts to her house i think it's her house uh, i i don't know i don't know is it a flashback to when she was getting cheated on or something i don't know she keeps encountering these two guys in her house one is her brother, I think, because she says something about MCP brother to the first guy. So the hinting that the first guy is his brother, I'm assuming. But the thing is, the guy, the first guy, doesn't even look related to Miranda at all. It's so f***ing confusing. Is it her brother or not? They don't look related. The other guy is some random guy, but is trying to get with her sister. They keep making these stupid sex jokes throughout this episode that are not even funny at times, and the characters just say like this out of context and doesn't really relate to the episode. It's so f bland and boring and it's so hard to follow along, it's just nonsense. The next scene is at a gym. We start to realize that the sister is like tricking the men in some way. Sponging them for basic needs is what the sister says. I'm getting brain damage from this episode. 
So this guy she runs into, I guess, knows a Miranda and the sister. All I got from this guy is that he's a fat perverted loser who I guess is a personal trainer, I think. But all he cares about are the three Bs. Ew. The most important part of a female's beauty are, and I quote, breasts, belly, and buttocks. Laugh track plays. This fucking sucks. I hate this so much. I'd rather get powerbombed through light tubes in a flaming table with barbed wire on it than watch another moment of this fucking show. Fuck this! Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm literally watching this episode while, like, making the video right now, like, writing the script and doing this commentary right now, and I'm just starting to understand who this Glenn Quagmire type guy is. It's the fucking guy who cheated on Miranda and had the kids with her. <laughs> oh my god, I'm starting to understand it now. This lore goes deep. Okay, I get it now. So the sister mentions the party to him, and he gets pissed because, you know, the, the kid's birthday party, you know, it's his kids, and he's not invited to the party. Oh my god. Oh, I get it now. Oh, this totally makes sense. So the party happens, everyone makes jokes which is fucking disgusting knowing the fact that they're doing this at a kid's birthday party they're making disgusting jokes like that at a kid's birthday party which is it's, it's, it's weird it's disgusting why would you do that and then there's these two guys at the party as well that are like fighting over the kids i think i don't know what's happening but Miranda gets like a cake tossed in her face and she dies, so there, that happens. But all of a sudden, Miranda's ex, the perverted Gwag- uh, Oh my god. The pervert Glenn Quagmire type guy enters the house. He says, those are my kids, I'm the dad, and I'm mad to everyone in the house. Which is a clear reference to the world famous YouTube series Mad Dad. Dad, Mad, Mad Dad, created by yours truly. A way better series than this garbage. Go watch the Mad Dad videos if you haven't already. Anyways, he gets a cake tossed to his face. Miranda as well, like I mentioned earlier. They both fall on the ground and die and that's the end. And everyone is like, yay, ha ha. Why? I don't fucking know. This is the worst fucking show that I've ever watched in my entire life. Fuck it. I'm not even going to talk about the other two episodes because fuck you and fuck this show. I'm not going to waste my life and time watching the other two episodes. If you want to watch the other two episodes, go right ahead. Feel free. I'll link the channel in the description below. Watch it. I don't care. I'm not kidding. This is the most frustrated I've ever been writing a review on a show or a movie or anything like this. Because the writing, dialogue, voice acting, animation, character, art style, theme, tone, everything about this show is so lazy and poorly made. I'd rather be slammed on a pile of thumbtacks than watch another moment of this shit. Ugh. Like I mentioned before, the writing is so poor in the first episode, it's all over the place. The pacing doesn't even help either, and the dialogue, my god. God, the dialogue is so bad you can't even tell what they're trying to say half the time or what they mean with the words and dialogue they're saying. It's so bad that people are even calling out this show saying that it was written and created mostly using AI. And you know what? I wouldn't even be surprised if it was created using AI. The dialogue the characters say, the entire script, the character names out of all things. All of this is probably done using AI to generate the most laziest, bland, and boring shit you could possibly think of. And it shows. Also, it's not a fucking anime? Do they even know what an anime is? Hashtag anime comedy. Fuck off. It's not an anime. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting so tired. Holy shit. Also, the humor in this show is just not funny, like, at all. Fuck it, they probably just got the jokes from AI-generated stuff as well. Everything about this show screams AI. Ugh. For them to call this a comedy as well is just an absolute insult to the comedy genre. This show should be its own category, whatever that might be. The shit genre, the family gal genre, whatever it might be. Ugh. This is undoubtedly one of the worst shows that I've ever had the chance to watch. <laughs> uh, I've had issues with other shitty YouTube shows in the past, such as The Red 8 Family. And you know what? I want to give them props for what they created. Because at least they gave it a shot. Look, I absolutely hate The Red 8 Family. It's still a terrible show. But you can at least tell that they put some work into their show. And that there was actual passion and love 
put into it. Even if the show was bad. But this? Family Gal? Absolutely nothing. I feel nothing from this. It's soulless. It's a soulless AI generated piece of shit. If I got anything wrong about this show, like the character names or who they were supposed to be, then I don't care. I genuinely don't care. The show was so hard to follow along and almost everything about it was so damn confusing. It was so confusing I couldn't understand what was going on. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna give this show the lowest rating that I've ever given to anything that I've seen yet. Uh, so, you know, I'm probably gonna give it like a 1.5 out of 10 on the Sanko Critic scale. I'm pissed, I'm angry, I'm a dad, and I'm mad. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm gonna go smash a computer with a giant rock right now, so uh, bye bye, bye bye.